What is up guys? Today we're going to be setting up a Pixelmon Minecraft server. Now, Pixelmon is just one of those mods where it's the most fun thing in the world. I mean, what what could be better than Minecraft and Pokémon together? There's literally nothing better. So, first thing we're going to we're going to want to do is go over to the reforged.gg website. If you type if you just Google Pixelmon, it should be like the first link in Google, or you can go down in the description below and click the link down there. Then once you're there, you're going to hit download, it's going to open up uh, an ad page, and then it's going to ask you to please wait, you're just going to hit skip, and then it will start the download. Now the download's like 350 megabytes, somewhere around there, if I hit skip. Um, I don't want to download it again though, because I already have it, so I'm just going to hit discard. You're also going to want Minecraft Forge installer. So, if you don't have Forge, if you go to this website, this is where you'll download Forge, link will also be in the description. You're just going to hit Windows Installer, if you have a Windows computer, of course. That's going to download the recommended. Once that downloads, I'm not going to hit Keep because I already have it, so I'm going to just hit Discard again. Now we've got that right here. Here's our Forge. Here's our Pixel one that we've just downloaded, right? Next, what you want to do is create a server file on your desktop. So you're just going to create a new file, right-click, New, Folder. Um, and name it whatever you want. I named, mine, I named mine Minecraft server. What you want to do then is run the Forge installer. And it's going to ask you where you want to install it because we're not creating, because we're not installing Pixelmon into our client, we're doing it for a server. We're going to go down here and hit install server and then change this directory here. You want to make sure you do that. Go to desktop and then um, boom, right there. Minecraft server. Hit OK. It's going to download everything into this folder here. It's Minecraft server folder. So we're just going to fast forward to that being done. This process will take a minute, so don't think that it's frozen. Now, what you want to do is create a new, and we're going to create a text document. We're going to call that run. Now, I already created a run text document, but you're just going to do that real quick. That was really weird that I didn't want to delete that. Okay, anyway. Your run file should say something like this. Pew. All right. So I'm going to have this also in the description. You're just going to copy it word for word because this is going to be exactly the same for you at the point of watching this video. It is July 20th today. And this is the current Forge version and Pixelmon version. So this XMS, XMX, this is how, much, uh, how many gigs of RAM you're dedicating to your server. So if you wanted to dedicate more RAM, you simply just need to change these numbers. This is setting for two gigs. Um, I host a server, or I have a server hosted with three gigs for me and my friends to play Pixelmon on, and it doesn't give us any issues unless, unless we're loading new terrain, and it does fine with about 100 Pokemon. So I would recommend probably like three, four gigs for the server. If it's just you, you could probably get away with two. You're really not going to need a whole lot. Um, or if you're making a huge server to have a ton of people, you're going you're gonna to want some more RAM. But yes, yeah, so you just change that there. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is word for word, the Forge Universal that it had downloaded. Letter for letter, word for word, number for number. It's the exact same thing, right? And then you're going to have, so essentially you just want to copy that. Whoops, I didn't mean to double click on it. You just want to copy the text there, paste it in here and put dot jar at the end of it. Um, but this will be available in the description. So don't worry about that. Just copy and paste that. All right, now what you want to do, whoops, we actually didn't want to close that. You want to go file, save as, and just add dot .bat, dot .bat to it and hit save. All right, now you'll get this funky looking file here. Once you've got that, you're just going to run that. And if you don't know how to set up port forwarding or how to make it so your friends can play on your server with you, if you go down into the description below, there will be a link to one of my other videos. And that's where you will figure that out. All right. So now we see in here, it says failed to load EULA. That's because you just have to go into here once this file is created. Type true. That is supposed to happen. Don't worry. There's nothing wrong. Now you want to run this again. It's going to take a minute, but as you see, it created a mods folder as well in here. So whatever mods you want to use, that's where you're going to be putting them. So this will work with Pixelmon, 
or any mod that you want to add to your server actually. Once you've done that, what you want to do is take your pixel mod and just throw it into your mods folder, back out, and run the server again. Once this is done, load up your Minecraft, have your friends load up their Minecraft, and enjoy your new Pixelmon server. I hope you guys have a good one. I hope this tutorial helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want some more tutorials, just let me know down in the comments below. Have a good day.